Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to our Factorio Space Age run. We are having a lot of fun, um, and we're going to space. We're doing it. So basically, we got our science done, we got our beautiful sushi, we've got purple and yellow done, which I think was a good decision. And we've unlocked the glorious Assembling Machine 3. So what I'd like to do... I forget, do we need space to get logistics robots? Or requester chests? We do. So I can't do those yet. Um, but I would like to automate... Somehow. Uh, I would like to automate assembling machine twos. So... That's going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt. So... Hmm... I'm thinking... I mean, can I just make all that here? All we need is copper, iron, and steel. Problem is I don't have steel. Uh, I have steel up here. There we go. So... So here's the iron. So we'll make gears in there. Oh boy. You guys ready for the spaghetti goodness? Um, so we're gonna do gears. And then level one, level two. I don't know why I'm saying level two. Uh, more like tier two. I don't know if I've ever called these level one in, uh, assemblers before. <laughs> and then tier three. Speed one, something like this, and then the circuits, boom, 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 and then we just need steel, <laughs> dink and shut up were the lowest levels. I remember when crap was a curse word at one point in my life to my my mother. Those were the days. Alright, well, despite all the odds, we ended up with having everything we need for yellow assemblers, so that's glorious. Now, please debate amongst yourselves whether they're yellow or green, because uh, that's always fun. And... Yes, thank you, red chest. We got that done. Now, how fast is this gonna go? Uh, pretty not fast. However, the good news is, guess what? We can make it go about twice as fast here in a moment. Because that's gonna go there any minute now. Oh, wait, it needs four? It needs four. Okay, well, that's gonna take a second. You guys are coming up with new colors. They are three gear assemblers. Ah, yes. One gear, two gear, three gear. Honestly, I, I actually looked at the sprites in the, in, the, in the game files, and I analyzed the, the colors, and here's what's confusing. They are both. They are not Grello, though they are kind of... No, they are kind of Grello. But the problem is the icon is a different color than the actual sprite itself. The sprite itself is far more yellow, and it, you know, depending on cer certain, like, pixels are more green than yellow, but a lot of pixels are arguably more yellow than green. But this icon has pixels that are certainly green in them. They're all kind of green, brown, and yellow, brown is the problem. But yeah, I kind of had a, a midlife crisis when, when I realized that they're a lot greener than I'm comfortable with them being, even though I'm exactly like you, Code Green. They're yellow. They're yellow assemblers. What do you mean they're green? So something about our brain seeing it as dirty, somehow, like the dirty brown somehow makes the yellow turning to green. Our brains are like reverse engineering that as like, well, that's just what happens when things get old and grimy. So it's like, old and grimy yellow is going to look more green. 
So, so somehow our brains are like reverse engineering what's happened to the assembler to turn it to its current state, even though like technically the pixels are more green than they are yellow. It's really weird. Yeah, the shadow and grimy, our brains reverse engineer that to be yellow. At least a lot of us do. And then some people's don't reverse engineer it, and those are the people who are okay seeing it as green. It's really weird. It is very much the, the dress. Is it blue or uh, gold or whatever? <laughs> or what was it? The dress was white or gold? The shoes were blue or pink? One of, something like that. Um, yeah, and also people just see colors slightly differently. So that's a thing too. Okay, so now we've got, woohoo, assembling machine threes. We don't have to call them yellow, we can just call them three, because that's something we can all agree on. And now that we've got those, we will be able to um, get quality going a little better here. So let's, let's roll a little bit more the quality dice. Uh, let's go to 200 here. There are more than like six colors. No, no, I'm pretty sure there's only six colors. If it's not green or yellow, then it's it's nothing. There there are zero colors in between. <laughs> but yeah, so now quality is four percent up to a maximum of five point two percent once we have all uncommons, which is significantly better. Hey J J seven J, welcome back. We are going to space. What have you missed? Uh, you've missed a fairly standard factorio base, though with a few of the new features wrapped in, such as the new elevated rails, which are conveniently hiding behind radar coverage. But uh, we've got some new elevated rails going on here. That's like inconvenient. I'm gonna get a, a radar built somewhere so we can see that. There we go. Um, but yeah, we've certainly used some of the new features. More power we already did over here. Yellow assemblers we did. I still need beacons and blue chip stuff. So... Let's work on blue chip stuff. So blue chip stuff, we're gonna handcraft a bit. Uh, I can do a power armor. And... Man, my poor copper. Maybe I should do a second belt of copper first. But let me at least get a power armor. Is power armor even better? Six by eight. Yeah, six by six. And it has more inventory. Okay. That's better than my uncommon modular armor. Schools love to teach Cyan being light blue. Uh, Cyan was a legendary game company. That is certainly correct. All right, well, it is time to say goodbye to our trusty but wonderful... Oh, my inventory's full. Um... Turns out we're gonna have to do some cleanup on aisle inventory. Part of the problem is all these random blueprints. Let's get rid of those. Okay, can I unequip you now? Nope, still too much inventory space. There we go. Okay. Sweet. Look at all that space. I have enough space for another RoboPort, actually. Two RoboPorts, even. But I'll probably just do one more. And then... Uh, oh, wait, no. Sorry. We have things we need to do with this space. Exoskeletons. Yes, yes, yes. What about power armor too? I don't have that yet. That requires... A lot of speed and efficiency modules. Though technically, everything that this requires, I am already making. So it's not 
crazy. It is kind of expensive to research to it. Uh, we're going to space first. I don't know what planet we're going to, though. Uh, first. After space. We have not quite figured it out yet. Alright, so I can fit one more solar panel. I hope that's enough power for the exoskeleton. We'll see if it is. Between the three robo-ports, I'm a bit concerned. Gleba! <laughs> I... Look. I think part of the problem is some of the really cool stuff, like recyclers, is not on Gleba. Recyclers, cliff explosives, artillery, more metals. It's just hard to argue for Gleba first, even with the new buffs that it got. It's hard. Alright, I'm gonna get another copper line going, because I think without more copper we're gonna be really sad about the state of affairs. So, this is going to be second belt of copper. We're going to do a weird iron, copper, copper, iron situation. Yeah, I think a lot of you have mentioned this, and my brain is certainly leaning towards Fulgora already. But the recyclers are just awesome. Because then you can get these quality loops that are really cool. And that requires Fulgora first. And I'd already kind of thought Fulgora first might be the way that I'd go, so that's seeming the most likely at the moment. But you never know. You watched too much Troopin suffering on Bleba. Yeah, Troopin certainly suffered, from what I could tell. I hope he's sleeping happily and not having horrible dreams of Bleba. All right, let's go get another belt of um, copper here. I am just going to belt it over because there's the second patch over there. That's not that far away, so we'll just go with that. Pollution cloud still seems to be mostly under control, though we're going to get down here pretty soon. So that's a thing. I could always wall that off with laser turrets. Um, hmm. I need to automate laser turrets as well. So many things to do, and I want to go to space. I want to be working towards space, but we need more copper for that. Not to mention, you just literally need a lot of copper. No, sorry, you need a lot of iron, because that's 100 iron plates and only 10 copper plates for every single space platform foundation. So yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, I think we can just bring a second belt of copper here. And just let the game do all the undergrounds for us. With all the new quality of life stuff, it's so easy. <laughs> so easy to build long belts. If it is possible, the game will find the way to do it. Alright, this seems like a good place to turn. You like the casual, not rushed Let's Play? Yeah, I think, you know, there are other there are other YouTubers who do something similar, but I do think I'm a bit unique in my style. I'd like to think I'm... Try, I'm not... I'm. What's the right word? In some ways, I'm less skilled than a lot of other streamers. I will freely admit that. But in some ways, I think that's part of my charm. Um, because I think people can resonate sometimes more with someone that doesn't feel like they're really incredibly amazing. So, I, I suck because it helps you love me more. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> um, Dad Gamer, yeah. Uh, did I automate concrete? I did, I did. We have automated concrete. All right, that'll get the bottom right. That all worked out nicely. 
Except that one in the top left didn't get killed. Breaking news. Crydax admits to being a mere mortal. More at 10. I'm not unskilled enough that it's frustrating. Yes, I, I think that's important too. Sometimes people have such a little idea what they're doing that it can be hard for people to watch that do kind of know what they're doing. And I'm not, I'm not that clueless. There might be some games where I've been that clueless, but Factorio, at least, I have some clue. Yeah, I think I like to watch gamers who aren't necessarily the best either, but do have some idea what they're doing. I've watched some people play games for like the first time where they've never played before, and it's not even their style of game, and that can be a little hard where I'm like, oh god, oh god. Like I was watching someone play Satisfactory and they didn't even know how to hook up power for a while, and I was like, okay, this is kind of painful to watch. And like, it's not, I'm not judging them, like, it's just not the type of gameplay I necessarily want to watch, you know, as a viewer. So, I get that. Sometimes wanting to help can come off as backseating. <laughs> yeah, backseating's an interesting thing. I, I think with certain games, I really don't like backseating. With Factorio, I'm pretty good at not caring what people have to say. Ah, radar, thank you. See, like, that's that's technically backseating, but, like, I'm glad someone reminded me to build a radar. Um, I think it doesn't feel like backseating because it's, it's already something that I know I want to do. It's not like you're teaching me a new way to play the game that I hadn't ever considered before, and now you've spoiled it for me. It's just, like... There's a lot of things to keep track of when you're playing the game, and Twitch chat is perfect for being almost like a little clerical robot to like help make sure you're checking all the boxes. So like I really appreciate Twitch chat being that like, have I checked all the boxes type backseating. Um, what I don't like is when it's like, I'm trying to discover something new for myself and someone else is like, oh, you should do blank, it does blank. And, and it's like, oh man, like I wish you hadn't told me that. I would have figured that out eventually. or. Or I would have missed that, and that would have been an interesting thing to watch and discover on my own. So, <laughs> YouTube chat feels left out. No, YouTube chat is great too. You guys are great. You watched a streamer named Carl? Yeah, was that Carl Sagan42, the guy who does Mario Maker? I didn't watch his Death World play because I figured it would be too painful. I just watch him for Mario Maker trolls. That's, that's what Carl is for. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I would imagine watching Carl play Factorio was, was pretty painful. <laughs> I, I only watched like five minutes of it. But yeah, he's one of my favorite YouTubers, or Twitch streamers, whatever he does. I like it. Um, very entertaining. Just a fun guy. Also, Chris, backseating is reminders about needing to go to space. Uh, yeah, we're going to space. Don't worry, we're getting there. What I do need to know, and it doesn't tell me, is what actually makes a rocket. Cargo pod. Like, what makes a rocket part in this? Because I know they changed it to not need rocket control units, but what actually is it now? Do I have to build a rocket silo to find out, or can I find out in the Factoriopedia somewhere? There's nothing under rocket part, so I don't actually know. Huh. That's a little weird. All right, um, okay, so we're gonna copy this whole shebang as it were. And this will be a second belt of copper. You know, this might be the first time I've ever set up a second belt of copper before setting up a second belt of... Um, I don't like how close I am to the trains. 
before setting up a second belt of iron. Feels weird. Has this ever happened to me before? I guess I guess I sort of have a second belt of iron because of the steel. So that's a thing. Search for spaceship. You can see it in the tech tree. No, there's no rocket part in the tech tree. Um, I doubt spaceship is here. No, I don't know. I just have to build the rocket silo, I think. All right, now we already got our second belt of copper figured out to this spot here. That should do that. And then we're gonna need coal coming through. Should be a relatively small amount of coal, thankfully. Uh, and then we're gonna need to upgrade plan all this to make sure it's... No, 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 sorry that upgrade planner. I don't want to upgrade all my inserters to bulk inserters. Very unnecessary. Oh, it's only 50 instead of 100? Wait, no, that can't be right. You mean 500? There's no way a rocket is only 50 low density structure, 50 chips, and 50 rocket fuel. That would be insane. It used to be 1,000 low density structure, 1,000 rocket fuel, and 1,000 rocket control units. Would they really change it that much? That would be absurd. But, maybe right. It's true. Oh my gosh. Okay, wow, that is way cheaper than I imagined. I mean, look, guys, I know, I know, I know you have to launch a lot of rockets, but I wouldn't have imagined they would cut the cost to 1 20th. Not, not only 1 20th, but like blue chips instead of rocket control units. Wow, okay. Clearly I missed that when I was reading the FFFs. Um, what am I looking for? I want to do that to blue. Because right. that's not getting built. That should fix that problem. And then our second belt of copper here. Uh, I forgot to re-equip. Nope, I have no power. That's bad news. This belt is the wrong direction. I think that does it. The rockets also kind of suck in terms of cargo space. Okay, well that's fair then. If you, if they can't carry very much, then I guess it's good they're cheaper. I was kind of thinking in my head like the space exploration rockets that carry like a ton. Portable fission reactor. Oh, I can make that now, right? Isn't that just blue chips? Oh, I need uranium cells for it now. Never mind. I don't want to mess with all that. Oh, they do carry a ton. Just just one of them, though. <laughs> one ton. <laughs> yeah, Dave, I assume in, in 2.0 rockets cost the same as usual. Sweet. Okay, so here's more copper. Good, 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 good. And then we'll need to... Balance. Always going output priority left, so we keep the left belt full after we draw off of it. Is that is that not something you can do oh weird so you can do it from remote view 
but you can't walk away from it in normal view. Feels a little... Like, why not just let me have longer reach on it, since you can do it from remote view anyway? I don't know. Alright. That's a thing. And there we go. Okay. We are now officially making a lot more copper. Q, 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 Q. <sighs> Getting used to not having long reach mod will kind of suck. Yeah, I actually don't play with long reach, but I have played with the quality of life um, research mod, which gives you some extra reach. So often I've already got like five tiles of extra reach by mid game, which it's not the same as long reach, uh, but it's enough to where you can kind of reach most of the screen. So you do start to feel it. All right, so now iron's the problem, as I was imagining it would be. But at least copper's not the problem now. <laughs> oh, the back and forth that we play in this game. Those are going to be problematic biters any minute now. Mm. Hmm. Can I get two belts out of this hatch? I think I can. Ninety degree inserters should be base. That is certainly a take. I'm not sure if I agree, actually. Even despite being a user of Bob's adjustable inserters mods. All right, what do we get? Six only. So just enough to upgrade these to uncommon, and then grab those, move them over. Keep trying. 5.2%. So that's 0.5% to get a rare. It's not very good. As a mode to force them to be 180 but any orientation. For whatever reason, that sentence is not making any sense to me. Huh? How does that, how does that work? Maybe what we should do here... Oh, diagonal 180s. I hadn't thought about that. I see what you're saying. So they can grab anywhere in their square, but they have to drop it in the, like, directly across square. I see what you're saying. Yeah, we won't go to space until we're at exactly 11 hours. <laughs> Make sure everyone comes back tomorrow. <laughs> All right. What are we at? 30 minutes in the episode. Do we have time for another iron thing? I think we need more iron, so let's work on that real quick. What I'm trying to figure out is if we can get what we want out of this train alone. I think we can. Look, I don't know what I'm doing with all this wire. I'm gonna ignore it. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Um, and then... We're gonna do this. Whoa, that was crazy how fast that built. Uh, and then we're gonna do this. This is a two belt lane balancer and belt balancer at the same time.
Oh no. Okay, well, there's science. Um, where can I fit another smelting stack? I've got a lot of space right here. Maybe we do another uh, iron one here. We got coal right there. Conblim can be forcibly moved. To uh, over here. You do not find that balancer to be pleasing. Um, it's actually not that much smaller. I do have electric furnaces. They're just so much bigger. I don't want to use them. And then I need a lot more power. Um, electric furnaces are less efficient power-wise. Since I'm still using coal for power anyway, they actually use a lot more space and more power to do the exact same thing as these other furnaces. Given that I already have coal over there, it doesn't feel that big of a problem, but you're not wrong. I, I could switch. Um, but yeah, I can just copy this. With efficiency modules, it is less power, yes. But that's a lot of efficiency modules. You're talking 100 efficiency modules. Ooh, we, we can just super force build over all this. That crap is kind of in the way, but we don't need it. All right, we'll let that let that go because these miners are dead anyway. And then, okay, second belt. We'll bring over. Can I go across this, or is this too... I might need to do something like that. That might have been a load-bearing power pole. I don't want to find out. Alright, so everything is literally going the opposite direction that it's supposed to be, so I need to flip all of it. Even the coal is the wrong direction. Ooh, efficiency modules in beacons. I haven't, uh, we've researched beacons. I need to automate beacons. Crap, I totally forgot about beacons. Guys, we have too many things to do. Stop it. Stop telling me about all this stuff. Do you want me to go to space or not? <laughs> Here you are demanding I go to space, but then you're not happy with me just using the old the old faithful steel furnace stack. Alright, we're, we're using it, okay? <laughs> so, so help me, I'll turn this factory around. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. How did that end up just merging with that? That was weird. All right, iron belt. Boom. Now, how do we get it over there? Real question. All right. Bum run. Sorry, we're going to go the name a little bit. Cadis, you personally personally hate the beacon spam even after the changes. Still prefer Essie's beacons. Yeah, I'm sure... I, th I think a lot of people like the space exploration style beacons enough that that'll still have a market for people using it in Space Age. I think I, I still at the core like the default Factorio beacons, um, but I do understand people who prefer the Space Age version. Let's see, how do I do this? Like that. And like this. And see, this is so convenient, because now if I want to add on, I have to do this. No, I need even more space than that. It's just wonderful. Oh, why did I do it this way? Because I didn't want to move the copper, let's be honest. 
I did it this way because I'm lazy. Um, it always comes back to laziness. Yeah, I think I prefer the vanilla system just because it it always gives, I don't know. The the SE beacon system, I don't like because you just end up making beacons in a grid. And at least with the vanilla system, you're not quite as incentivized to make a grid. Yeah, the most efficient thing is still lines, 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 but that's the same as what you do with SE as well. So I think the more interesting comparison is how do you play when you're not in the ultra late game? Because in the ultra late game, they're basically the same thing, effectively. It's just a grid of one thing or another. Um, yeah, Code Green, I think that's what I said when I was doing the FFF review. It's like, it's basically the same thing. You're just trading assemblers and beacons. Now, arguably, assemblers are cooler than beacons in the sense that they're the thing that makes the thing rather than the thing that supports the thing making the thing. But I don't know. I, I do mostly agree that it's kind of just half a dozen of one, 12 of the other. Six, six of the other. <laughs> but yeah, so the problem with the space exploration beacons is they shut down machines if they're overlapping on accident. And so the issue there is that you end up having to put them in a grid. They actually force themselves into a grid shape or, or more spaced out than a grid. Whereas the vanilla beacons, it's cool because I can be like, ooh, I can fit... I can fit one beacon here to affect these buildings and then I can fit another beacon here and that also affects these buildings and then I can put one here and you actually can kind of piece together in the base that you already have you can piece together multiple beacon effects without anything breaking and with space exploration it actually kind of refuses to let you do cool stuff like that because it's like oh you can put a beacon there but if you put one over here to affect these two buildings oh it also affects that building and now that building's broken because there are two beacons touching it um so there are there are ways that the space exploration one is annoying yes i i understand that vanilla beacons don't have that much range but that was just for example and look at this four i have four rare modules to six uncommon I think the game is busted. Can't believe it gave me that many, but I'll take it. 6.4% quality, baby. So, we are uh, rolling in the quality dough, you could say. All right, I actually have enough iron. So, does that mean we're making full purple science? Because it should mean that. If I did things correctly. Yeah, these are all running. Guys, it's happening. It's actually happening. Uh, you assume we can't have quality mods and beacons? Oh, 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 oh. You mean like quality modules. Not like modules that are higher quality. <laughs> oh, it's nice and confusing. <laughs> Um, speaking of beacons, let's build these here, because they actually need some of the same things, like wire. Now, here's an illegal technique the Jedi wouldn't teach you. Be careful with it. Off the end of the building, double, double illegal. All right, steel, and then both chips. This actually worked out pretty well. Are these still to 10? Oh, okay, these are to 20 now, so that's one of the ones that you were talking about changing. I'm not spending science, so it doesn't count. Hey, the, the point though is that it, it you know, Things are backed up. Do I even need to be spending science right now? I think I've kind of got everything I want. I could slowly work on steel plate prod. 
That might be worth it, to be honest. 10% steel doesn't sound like a lot, but that's a lot of iron. Yeah, beacons at 10 was annoying. I think beacons at 20 is a lot better. Yay! Beacon! With a default distribution efficiency of 1.5. That is awesome. This is also a good place for um, quality, because I would like some higher quality beacons. Some higher quality bacons would be nice. <laughs> You're calling the Woob police. Wooba, 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 Wooba. That's the sound the Wooba police makes. Because, you know. <laughs> Alright, so we'll get some quality beacons. What needs beacons first and foremost? Anything in particular? Or are we okay? I mean, this area... Wait, no, that's too spaced out. I think I screwed that up. These are hungry for beacons eventually. These are hungry for beacons. So how much power savings are we talking about if we build one beacon and I put some green mods in there? What are we saving? Whoa, that sound. Ooh, interesting. Um, so these all go to the limit? It's pretty good. Especially when those turn into full assembling machines. Can you quality sciences? Uh, yes. I don't know. I guess we could find it. I keep forgetting about Factoriopedia telling me. Okay, so yeah, uncommon science is twice as productive, but the problem is it's going to cost you more than twice as many materials to make uncommon. So it's not it's not actually saving you any resources, but if you happen to already have all of your stuff at uncommon level, then that's a good way to spend it. Beacon quality, what does that get you? It gets you... Uh, a better transmission effect, and it consumes less electricity, which is a big deal. So legendary beacons are almost free. Um, but nothing else here gets changed. I mean, the health. But they don't have more range. So. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so now we can work towards space. They did include the graph. I, that is actually interesting that they put a... And it's not just a picture. It's like a graph that you can interact with. That's really cool. So a legendary beacon. If you, I assume there's a building that you can fit 20 legendary beacons around. Is that a rocket silo? And that'll give you a cumulative transmission power of 11, 18%. Each beacon, no, 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 wait, how does that work? No, not each beacon. Um, the total is that much. If you quality module everything, it will jam stuff up. Yes, you, you certainly have to build your base being prepared for that. Um, what I'm going to do to make things kind of nice here is grab some basic modules. We're going to put beacons in here. I'm just going to get some free. We're going to get some free stuff. So bear with me. So we're going to do speed and prod. I wish it would show me the effect of the beacon over here, but it doesn't. It just says 1.5. Like, it's not showing me what these add up to. I really wish it would show you what those add up to. I'm guessing it's not a bug. Because I know transmission effectivity is different. The beacon noise is pretty loud. You're not wrong about that. I think I'm actually going to F10 it. I don't think it's an actual bug.
I realize these effects are multiplied by the distribution efficiency and number of beacons around a receiving building, but it would still be nice to have a sum total of the effects of the two modules that are in the beacon itself on the right side tooltip. You cannot put quality modules in beacons, for those who are wondering. Um, but yeah, the effect here is speed is up by an equal amount to consumption. Perfect. So it's faster, but but it uh, consumes the amount, the same amount of that fastness. So these being 1.65 means I don't need these at all anymore. So I know it's weird because I just built this, but we're going to cut off the last three. And then I'm going to prod. Oh god, that's the <laughs> ingredient. Um, I'm going to prod these with a cattle prod. And then we end up with what is only slightly slower. Or is that even slower? Oh god, math. 4 times 1.375 is 5.5 compared to 7 times 0.75 is 5.25. So thankfully we're still faster than we were before. And now we have an extra 16% of the more expensive sciences. So that reduces the base cost of those by a bit. Uh, energy consumption, we are through the roof. Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay on energy for now. Now, these red chips, where are we getting those from? I might just need to make a few more. Yeah, those are all running. We just need more of them. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I honestly don't... I'm not doing anything with these right now. I don't have a plan for them. I don't just want to randomly collect quality. So let's do this. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll put a single module in them. It's also interesting, these are doing the same thing the labs are doing. If there's only one module now, it goes over on the left side, like where it will be when there's four of them. So that's kind of interesting. But yeah, now that will probably consume more than what we're producing here, I'm, I'm assuming. Because we just increased that speed by two-thirds. So I'm guessing we don't have enough wire. Yeah, it looks like the wire's getting all eaten up by about here. So... So that's... Gonna be more red circuits, but not infinite. The only way I can fix that is blue belts. No, not true. Uh, I can actually fit more wire on the belt by doing that. That helps a little bit. Alright. I'm going to call that all good enough for now. And then... Let's work on a rocket silo. We're doing it. We're moving towards space. So, a rocket silo needs... A lot. Um, do I want to manually craft it? Yeah, probably. I'm not ready to automate those yet. Um, let's turn off. Isn't there a button here? Or is it just here? Uh, we need to get rid of all the things that are not relevant at this moment. Building a rocket silo. Alright. What do we need? 1,000 steel, 200 engines, 200 blue chips, 100 pipes. Okay. Pipes. 
Done. Steel. Done. Go get blue chips. And what was the other thing? Electric engines. There they are. How did I end up putting... Oh, I went across and then hit my efficiency modules. Um, Alright, blue chips. What am I spending these red chips on? Wait, did I not factor in the electric furnaces red chip cost to my totals here? No, I did. So, so I, I'm using the wrong red chips. I'm supposed to be using these red chips. Whoops. That's, that's my B. Um... Yeah, 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 we're supposed to be using these guys. Okay. Is that gonna mess? No, no. Alright, that'll help a little bit. Yeah, I was never meant to use those. Because we had factored the red chip cost into our furnaces. So, that's good. Okay, uh, blue chips. Um... Probably. Oh, I'm out of inserters. Filters. Processing chip. Unit. Whatever it's called. Get some stockpiled there. Alright. Nope, that's not enough. There we go. Rocket silo, baby. Editing ghosts is probably your favorite. Yeah, it's such a good feature. Oh my gosh. It's so amazing. Because you can just fix things before they're built, and that's really nice. All right, let's get rid of trees, rocks in this region. Because I think I want to build my silo over here. Our first rocket silo. Alright, let's it needs to be properly properly ensconced within lights. And we need to go get well we need to go get our stuff back. And then we need to grab Oh look, we got stuck. If only we had squeak through, we could have cheated our way through that pipe. <laughs> um where did I leave my stuff? Is this my stuff? Behold my stuff. Okay. It is kind of... I need to do a, a spring cleaning here, don't I? Four random science packs, some flying robot frames. Ugh, I feel like it's a look into my actual real life. Messiness. But I need all of it! <laughs> Alright, what am I doing? Refined concrete. That's what we're doing. Um, I guess we need to... Put it in a chest. What does it stack to? 100? The planning mode in Captain of Industry is actually really cool. Um, I do think there are times, especially because we have personal roboports in Factorio, there are times where it's actually frustrating that your bots build things instantly. Sometimes you don't want them to. I know that you can turn off personal roboport, but sometimes you're like on the you're inside of your base's roboport and you can't do that. So you have to like design things. Like I know Bold Viking in his Pyanodons run, would just go out in the middle of bumflip nowhere, 
to design his factory and then he would actually like go paste it somewhere that it would get built. So the planning mode prevents you from needing to do that, which is kind of nice. All right, I don't know if 100 refined concrete is enough, actually. But see, yeah, I wouldn't want a mod that would make it so that I have to approve ghosts. I would really just want a mod where I could toggle planning mode on, do all the stuff I want to do, toggle it off, and then everything happens. Well, we'll start with just a nice little... You don't have to know that the concrete doesn't go under the building. Maybe if we just do the, the outer ring. Besides, it doesn't make sense for concrete to be under the middle of the building because there's a big hole right there in the ground. So why would there be refined concrete right there? It doesn't even make sense. Doesn't even make sense. All right, so rocket parts are indeed a rocket fuel, an LDS, a processing unit. And that's it. Super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Um, I assume you can't put quality in here. Yeah. Quest for space platform. Oh, man. There's all sorts of new stuff. Um, so we'll definitely do productivity modules to get 16% free. I'll throw... I don't know. Two bacons. Two speed bacons. Will efficiency save me power? It does use 10 megawatts. Jeez. Um, and if I, unfortunately, it's really weird. So it's showing me the power usage after the speed boost, but not after the, it's so weird. Um, I don't even know. Oh no, that's just the power boost of the prod modules. Never mind, I lied. Substations is what I was looking for. It's not on my hotbar, and that's why I wasn't finding it. <laughs> All right. Also, these need to be always on because they're special lamps. All right, so that gets me to 15 megawatts. That gets me to... Really? Oh, my bots are off. 14.56 megawatts. 12.77. We'll be okay. Don't hold your breath. I will turn this car around. Um, Alright, so we need rocket fuel. Yeah, I know. There's that weird vibe now. Like, adding, adding more beacons is slowing... Making the effect of each one less. Um, but the crafting speed is 1.4, which is plenty. Because you only need 50 parts, so this is only 100 seconds of crafting, so that's fine. In fact, that might even be too fast. We don't even need that much speed. Um, Alright. And we're just going to do some simple stealing from why are you stealing from ruins um whatever that is our yellow science line and then we just need rocket fuel yay so rocket fuel how do we make rocket fuel solid fuel light oil all right solid fuel is still made um, there's a back button. I'm using the back button on my mouse. 20 Hoyle, 10 Loyal, or 20 Petrol. Okay, so Loyal is still the best. Alright. So we need a bunch of Kim plants to make rocket fuel. Let's go do that. Over here. <laughs> yeah, code I code green. I knew if you were here, you would you would enjoy the reference. 
And someone else had mentioned they watch Carl when we were talking about it. So I figured I figured I'd throw the throw the reference in there. Um getting real meta in this stream, referencing other streamers who have nothing to do with Factorio most of the time. Efficiency for rocket is useless, right? Ah, uh, well, it consumes a lot of power, so no. <laughs> but in the sense that it doesn't do anything other than save you power, yes. What's the rate on one of these? One per second? Uh, is that enough? I don't know. Here, I'll leave some more room for plastic. I bet you'll have to make more rockets at some point. No, 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 we just need the one. Um, where's rocket fuel? Why is it? Oh, wait, is rocket fuel in assemblers? I always forget, yeah, I always forget that. I don't know why rocket fuel is in assemblers. It very much feels like it should also be in the, the chem plants. And I'm pretty sure some mods change that, so it's doubly confusing. Okay, so it's about one-to-one. -one. I could do direct insertion here, and I actually might, because then I can use the same... Do-do-do-do-do. Uh, whatever that's called. So we can do something like this. Prod mods might make it even closer to one to one. Yeah, you're not wrong. At least we'll see if three is too many. Um, no, that only takes us down to 0. 0.95, so that's perfect. Saves us a little bit of light oil there. Again, trying to do the copy paste modules mod. That might be one of the small, like, for how little it does, it's the one that I've accidentally tried to use more than any other quality of life mod. Okay. And then... I mean... We can just copy paste that as needed. Um... So now we're gonna have to not crack all of our loyal. Also, twice twicing rockets? What are you saying, Code Green? Are you talking about just the fact that we can queue up two rockets? Because I did know that. I did know that. These two rockets, yeah. So that way it doesn't close the hatch when the other one's opening. Um, okay, so we want to do this, this, and then this is not supposed to be connected. And then we only pump into there if we have light oil fluid greater than 20,000. Okay. Can I wire up chem plants now? Yes, you can. You can. Alright, so then this is our light oil network. Bring that down. Boom. All right, let's see if your math is, is on. You say one of these and three of these brings the ratio even closer. 0 0.87, 0 0.95. Yeah, that's pretty good. What about two speed, one prod? Yeah, you got it. That's, that's just about right. Might as well get some free prod. I mean, it uses a lot of power though. I'm not made of power these days, so I maybe shouldn't do that. Um, I might replace a prod with an efficiency just to keep things within reason.
All right, so that's done. Bring that over. Snake it by the solar fields. Over to our new fancy schmancy rocket silo. Uh, J7, there's a new, there's the whole new, um, what's it called? Words. The map generation. So that's nice. Other than that, there's lots of little changes, but nothing crazy. Wow, rockets are so easy now. Jeez, that's just crazy. Every single part is already 2%. Wow. Okay, so we do need a space platform starter pack. So we need to automate a crap ton of these space platform foundations, which are mostly steel and some copper. So let's grab some steel, which productivity is almost there, by the way. Estimate for 10 more minutes of that. Let's grab steel and copper. Um, bring that down. Output already left. Okay. And space. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, no, 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 no. Sorry. This first needs to make some wire. And then that needs to get output. And then that comes over here. And then we can grab this deal from there. Something like that. Uh, how much prod does the research give you? 10%. Yes. It's infinite. I assume it's exponential, though. The second research is 50% more than the first. So I assume the next one is then 50% more than this one, etc., etc., etc. Oh, productivity caps at 300%. Okay, so they're not infinite then. Sorry. I lied. All right. Grab one of these guys. <laughs> they are infinite techs, but they don't have any effect past level 30, and good luck getting there. That's funny. Alright, these stack to 100. You can't place them on the ground. That's fair. They are space platforms, after all. Um, you cannot do prod in them, which makes them all the more expensive. So at this point, our steel is going to be the pain point. It seems. Where are those red chips going? Oh, beacons, eh? Okay, well, that's almost done. And I do have a couple uncommon beacons if we really need them somewhere. Alright. Well, we've already got our two rockets ready to go. I kind of just want to launch one for fun. It won't let me waste... It won't let me just completely waste an empty rocket for fireworks. It's a little bit of a bummer. I just want to watch something go <laughs> into space. We don't have to do anything with it. It's just a sounding rocket, you know? All right, uh, how do you make the platform pack again? Okay, I can just handcraft that. I just need 60 of the 
foundations. All right, well, I think YouTube episode-wise, this is a perfect place to end. We will keep streaming, of course. We're going for 12 hours, don't forget. And yeah, for those of you future YouTubians watching this recording, as always, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.